Hey everybody, Donkey Storm here, and I thought now that it seems like the dust has settled around the nerfs uh, in the Season 4 Dungeons for Shadowlands, we'd go ahead and rank them uh, easiest to hardest, and I'd like to kind of give you guys an opinion on what I think about where these dungeons fall, is like what's, what's tricky, what's not, and uh, what's a good key, what's a tough key, and things like that. So, just a heads up, I've been healing almost exclusively uh, since the beginning of this season, so this is definitely coming from a healer-biased point of view. I'm sure maybe some tanks, maybe some DPS might disagree with me a little bit on some of my choices here, but um, let's do it. So, we're going to start off by making kind of a tier list sandwich here. Um, we're going to do the easiest and hardest first then we're going to fill everything in in between um so the s tier which is going to be our easiest dungeon is drum roll please wait for it it's that's right junkyard um if you have been doing any keys this season then you probably know that junkyard is an easy key um it's one of those dungeons that just kind of kills itself we've got the bots um that do an obscene amount of damage. If you've got a good route for the dungeon and you can pick these up early on and not die and hold on to them, man, you can just obliterate this place. And there's no real like super big wall that would prevent you from doing that. Like there's no super hard boss in here. There's no extremely hard trash. Like if you route it correctly, Nothing is really that difficult in this place, and it seems like every time you run it, you just sort of like face roll a plus two uh, key. So yeah, Junkyard is definitely the easiest, and if you need any evidence beyond how I feel about it, um, take a look at Raider IO topped timed runs, like 80% of them are on Junkyard. So yeah, I think Junkyard can be done at a clip like maybe three keys higher than, than what people are able to do in other dungeons it's it's silly easy right now so um junkyard is without a doubt my s tier easiest dungeon and now we're going to drop way down to the f tier and we are going to be bringing up lower karazan because even though this dungeon got hit with the nerf bat just over and over again um yeah it's pretty hard still um every boss in this dungeon is has got mechanics that can pretty easily wipe you the very unforgiving um the trash in here is still tough even though the the ushers and the arcane wardens all got nerfed into the ground um it's still gonna be a rough go on fortified week and tyrannical week uh, i feel like the timer is still a little bit tight i feel like the uh percentage allotted per mob it still feels a little bit stingy in this place uh, and I still think this is going to be your hardest key um, almost regardless of weeks affixes things like that um, and I actually hope they don't nerf it anymore I think there should be some keys that are a little harder should be some keys that are a little easier um, but lower feels different um, lower feels like a burning crusade dungeon upper feels like a legion dungeon but like lower i mean it's so easy to just like pull extra packs and the the routes kind of funky so i think for many reasons um lower karazan is going to be our f tier most difficult dungeon and spoiler alert no other dungeons are going to go on that tier so now that we've kind of established our highs and lows um we've got kind of point of reference let's fill in some of the other ones uh i want to bring iron docks up and I'm going to sit this one here in the D tier. Um, Iron Docks might be a key that's, well, I don't know about might be. From my experience, it's harder on Fortify than it is on Tyrannical. The bosses are not necessarily easy, but they're not uh, as difficult as some. Um, but the trash in here is brutal, especially some of those first, uh, the very first pulls out of the gate. There's dots going out. There's things to dodge. There's just tons of damage going out all at once. Uh, it's easy to accidentally, you know, walk into another pack and, and pull extra stuff. Um, the timer doesn't allow you for like a whole lot of leeway. You can't really mess up too much in here. Um, so, yeah, I think I feel comfortable with Iron Docks being our, our next hardest dungeon. Um, maybe on Tyrannical. I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit easier on Tyrannical. Other people might have different experiences, but... Um, 
aside from the very first part of Skullock, I think his name is, the last boss, none of these bosses scare me too much from the healer perspective. Um, close to Iron Docks, I'm going to put Upper Karazhan, but I'm going to put it a little bit higher. Um, Upper Karazhan is one of these dungeons that, like, on a tyrannical week maybe goes here, and on a fortified week maybe even goes up a little bit. Um, there's, like, no trash in, in Upper Karazhan, and if you route it correctly, you barely need to kill anything. Um, at least not the hard stuff. So for that reason, um, I'm going to put it in C. Now, the bosses in here are, are all, like, super deadly. They're all very unforgiving. Medivh is still a heal check and a DPS check, um, despite, like, the just numerous nerfs to this place. Um, it's just, I think, yeah, every boss is pretty punishing. So uh, upper is a tough key. On fortified, it's not nearly as tough, but on a tyrannical upper it will uh, will get your heart pumping. So I think upper is going to go right there in C. And another dungeon that I would consider sort of uh, in the same vein would be Workshop, but probably a little easier. Um, Workshop is tough on Tyrannical, especially the last couple bosses. The, the Garden boss on Fortified feels like incredibly easy. Uh, and then you do it on Tyrannical, and if you can't kill it fast enough, the, the room will just fill up with stuff to the point where it's hard to do almost anything. Um, there are some nasty trash pulls in there. Um, there's not a lot of leeway as far as like what you're going to skip or not. Um, there are a couple skips people do, but it's a very linear dungeon. Um, and yeah, from a healing perspective, even the flame vents on the first boss can be kind of hectic because you've got tanks way over here on one side of the room. You've got, um, you know, DPS on the other. You've got tons of AOE, real spread AOE damage. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to put a uh, workshop there with upper, just maybe a little bit easier. Um, and then we've got, so let's jump up to the, the top part again. We're going to take streets. We're going to drop streets in A. Um, streets is an easy key. Like there's really nothing in streets that's going to prevent you like, like hard wall. Like, oh man, if we just get past this part. We got this. Um, it doesn't kill itself like junkyard. So I'm not going to put it on S tier, but it is pretty easy. Like I think pe once people realized that going left was the correct way to go and you just get so many dreadlords going that way. Um, none of the bosses feel that tough anymore after some nerfs. Even the, the mail room took a, another nerf recently. So that was sort of a heal check and, and that's kind of gone. Um, yeah, and this is another one where it feels like you don't really have to kill that much to reach the percentage count. So uh, I would say Streets is a very easy key. Just not quite as easy as Junkyard, but definitely easier than everything else. And while we're talking about Tazvesh, let's do Gambit. So um, from a healing perspective, like at least my experience, 90, 95% of Gambit is not really that hard. Um, but the last boss can be uh, pretty tricky from a healing standpoint. Um, with the uh, with the stars going out at the same time as like those arrows that fly everywhere and uh, if people get hit by that the amount of healing you got to do is just a lot um, but other than that it's not that difficult of a dungeon I'm gonna put it in B tier um, I think we have a lot of experience with it after playing you know an extra season in season three with it um, the first two bosses are, are pretty easy. I'm sure maybe tanks are like rolling their eyes at me because that dragon is, I know is is kind of a, a panic mode for some tanks, but um, I don't think Gambit is too bad. It's definitely call it easier than any of these guys. And Grimrail Depot is kind of funny because when Grimrail Depot was announced, I think everybody thought like, oh my God, this dungeon is going to be so hard. Like, it's super compact spaces. The last boss is just annihilating people. Um, and then they nerfed it a little bit and they improved the visuals on the last boss, which is huge. I think that's huge, um, actually. And know they also nerfed that damage, I think, on the incoming first hit uh, a bit. Um, 
And yeah, the train cars are rough, but I think people are getting better at it as time goes on. Um, they will continue to, uh, you know, they'll make affixes that otherwise you're just like, yeah, whatever, not a big deal. But when you get in those train cars, they start to matter. Like things like storming will start to matter a lot more. Um, but I think Grim Rail Depot is a harder than Tazavesh, but uh, it's got a, a pretty lenient timer. Like I've done some depots where I'm like, there's no way we're timing this. We've died so many times and then we time it. Like, and if you just do a clean run in there, it's usually a, a pretty easy time. Um, so anyway, that's going to be my Shadowlands Season 4 Dungeon difficulty tier list. Um, again, remember, this is from a healer perspective, um, mainly keys in like the, the lower 20 range. So, you know, um, and a lot of pugs. So I think my experience probably matches a lot of the people that watch this video. Um, but I'm really curious to know what you think, especially if you're not a healer. I'd love to hear from some tanks, like some DPS. You know, where, where am I like saying things are easy that you guys think are, are way harder? Um, I'm really enjoying this dungeon pool a lot. The, the just increased emphasis on healing is a lot of fun. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the content, hit that sub button. Uh, check out the stream Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday at 9 Pacific, and I'll see you in the next one. <music>